What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Pac-Man! And I'm coming at you with a, another unboxing video. Uh, another headset, actually. Because these pieces of shit right here were pretty flippin' disappointing. Um, I got off... I didn't get off the phone with them because they're too scared to call people. Uh, I emailed Astro Customer Support today because my buddies on Xbox tell me I sound like I'm in the cockpit of an airplane, which isn't a compliment <clears throat> when you're trying to talk to people on Xbox. Uh, so I was like, yo, can I get a replacement pair of headphones? Uh, and I was also missing a wire with my headset, so I thought maybe I got an open pair. And they're like, well, we'll send you the wire, or we can give you a refund on your headset, but we won't send you a replacement. I was like, really? Okay, then. Um, so, I just want to tell everybody that don't buy Astros. I mean, you can buy Astros. Do whatever the frick you want with your money, but I'm not going to recommend them. So, I'm trying a Turtle Beach headset now. This thing is actually like $100 cheaper than the Astros. These are the 500Xs. Stealth 500Xs. And they're, like I said, $100 cheaper. They're 7.1s for sound, just like the Astros. But this is DTS, which is actually better than Dolby Digital. So these may even have clearer sound. We'll see. Um, but it has way more features than the Astro, like being able to hear yourself when you talk. This thing is completely wireless. You don't need to plug anything into the controller to talk to people. Uh, the adapter plugs in the USB on your Xbox One, and that's how you chat. You don't need anything going from your headset to anything. It's completely wireless, which is awesome. Um, this thing can also answer calls on your phone. You hook it up Bluetooth, and you can answer calls while gaming, which is really cool when my wife loves to annoy me. Um, and this also comes with a chat cable that actually lets you plug into mobile devices like tablets and shit and lets you um, game on those and get sound out of those so th this thing is super cool um, let's open it up I'll do an in-depth review of this later uh, I mean compared to the A50s see if I like the sound better or whatever uh, actually I already got this bad boy cranked up in a little bit it's a nice white box there it says Turtle Beach and wow, they've actually stepped up their packaging here at Turtle Beach. Look at this. You got your instruction manual in a sexy little box like that. It says literature in case you didn't know what was in there. Beautiful. Cable box. No, this isn't going to give you HBO or anything, but it has your cables in it. Very nice. Let's blow past all that crap and get to the juicy stuff, right? the headset itself and it looks like the freaking transmitters haven't changed one bit on Turtle Beach on Turtle Beach headsets because this looks exactly like the one I had for my uh, X42s on the 360 it really is it's like the same exact thing there's that This actually looks kind of small compared to the. Look, you got the 500 X's there, stealth. Maybe that's why they're stealthy because they're are small. And look at this, look at that size comparison. These Astros tower over this thing, huge. Now the one thing I'll give to the Astros is it's really, really comfortable. Is this going to be as comfortable? Because I have a big ass head. And not every headset can fit my big ass head. And I wear glasses and I like to wear a lot of hats. So, let's see. Uh, left side, right side. That's how big my head is. It is on maximum setting right now. That's terrible. But it fits. Fits good. Feels comfortable. How do I look? How you doing? Good. Fits good. It feels pretty comfy. Uh, maybe not with the, the hat on, but this rubber 
band. The band up top is very padded. I like that. It says Turtle Beach right there. And we got, let's see our settings here. Presets. Uh, surround. Sound. This has a 15 hour battery life, which is good. A lot better than the Astros. Rechargeable battery, of course. Uh, that's the cable for calls. I think there's your master volume. And honestly, I have no flipping idea what this one button does. But we will figure this all out. If you guys want to get a good look at the coolness on the sides here. I really hope these are good headsets though. And we'll open up this cable box. You guys don't need to see the literature. Well, unless you want to, I guess I could show you guys that real quick. And you got your mic, your portable cable, your optical, and your USB. Well, hallelujah, this came with all the cables I needed, unlike Astro. And screw it. For shits and giggles, let's open up the literature box. Important headset requires up to date software, both the Xbox One console and the Turtle Beach headset. Okay, so I need to update this. That's cool. Oh, look, they gave me a sticker. I love my stickers. It's actually a cool sticker, not gonna lie. And uh, that's about it. That's about it. That's a quick unboxing. Not as cool. I told Astro, I'm keeping my Halo box. They ain't taking that Halo box away from me. No chance in hell. So I'm keeping that Halo box just to say that I, could, I owned that piece of crap headset. But I'm excited to be back on the Turtle Beach bandwagon. I've had Turtle Beach before. My most recent pair lasted me a long time. I was really happy with them. So... We'll see where that goes from there, guys. But if you like this video, click the like button. If you didn't, click dislike, but tell me why you didn't like it. And subscribe for us for more unboxings, uh, reviews. I'm going to do a review of these later on. Let's Plays, podcasts, gaming news, gaming rumors, everything. We do it all. So until next time, guys, Patman out. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the sound of an idiot. <laughs>